Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more, Or close up the wall with our English dead. In peace there's nothing so becomes a man As modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, Then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, Disguise fair nature with hard-favored wage. Yeah. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow overwhelm it as fearfully as doth a goward walk, or hang and juddy his confounded base. Filled with the wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to its full height. On, on, you noblest English, whose blood is fed from fathers of war proof. If others that, like so many Alexanders, have in these parts from morn to leave and fought, and sheathed their swords for lack of argument. Dishonor not your mothers. Now attest uh, that those whom you count your fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood, and teach them how to war. And you, good yeoman, whose whims were made in England, Show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble lust in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, Cry, God for Henry, England, and St. George!